just driving around PEI. I uh, forgot our passports. We got to go back out to the house. I said it too. Back out to the house. It's 12 minutes from here. It's not the end of the world. Back out to the house and get our passports because we have to get our um, we have to get our rapid test to get on the airplane to go to Dayton tomorrow. So um, got to go back out and get it. I want to talk about the aged horses now. Uh, list is growing. Made a nice list of horses here. Well, there's a couple of stragglers in here, but for the most part, a pretty good list of horses. Amazon Dragon's back with us now, as I said last week. I don't know what we're going to do with Amazon Dragon yet. We're going to find a spot for him in the very near future. He won't be ready to go. They give him a month off or six weeks off, so he won't really be ready to go for a little while, but... Um, We'll see. We'll see with Amazon Dragon. Uh, Adrenaline Rush, he is going to be... Is he back jogging yet? Who? Amazon, or uh, Adrenaline Rush? Uh, yeah. Maybe Monday, I don't know. Yeah, it will be Monday, because I, I told him Wednesday. Deb's very protective uh, of Adrenaline Rush, but uh, he will be back jogging oh, on Monday. Oh, he's been on the walker. That's right. Mm -hmm. She asked me if she could well, put him on the walker, right? But he's going to start jogging on Monday. Um... So Adrenaline Rush will start jogging on Monday. Bolt Powers in tonight. Tough spot. I see he's like 15 to 1. Now, I just told everybody in the open we got to put them in where they can win. But once in a while, you're going to see class jumpers and horses moving around where they're just in tough. There's not much we can do about it now. As long as that's not going to be a long-term effect of his racing, then I don't really have that much of a problem with it. But it has to be, this has to be a short-term thing. You want to race him once at 15 to 1? Fine. This becomes any sort of a... Uh, a pattern, then no, we have to address that. So he's in tough tonight. Brave World's in tough too. Drew the 10 hole. Jody's driving him. I said, listen, if you leave hard with this horse, you're going to end up where you started. 10th. So maybe just find a nice little cozy 7 or 8 hole for him and try and scab some money. That would be the best case scenario for our boy. Uh, Brave World globe trotting is training. How much you been? Oh, he told me he trained her. <laughs> Tom Hick told me he trained her in 20 the other day, 19 or 20, and he was happy. I said, listen, 19 or 20 to this filly is like a, a slow jog. Yeah. She's a powerful filly. Uh, just train her down, put lots of work into her, and we'll have her ready to go in the summer. Training down, very good. High gear, no fear. We'd all but given up hope on the gear colt. Uh, the way he came back and the way we had to stop with him, brought him back. And I told you guys, it's, it was very, very prophecy-like. I said to everybody, as he starts to look better, a little bit of weight on that old winter hair come at him he starts to shine up then you're going to see him start racing better when he looks better he'll race better that's exactly what you're seeing week by week he looks better and week by week he's racing good it was a good move in the last turn finished second tried him 55 and a piece and really hung on he could have walked him in 30 be like eh, whatever showed a little grit to be second last night very happy with high gear no fear a glare i am She's in one of her moods. She made a break yesterday. We're making a very aggressive shoeing change with her. Um, listen, I, I feel everybody's grief when it comes to this filly. If she wasn't so fast and so good when she was good, she would not be here. And she's a very frustrating filly, but man, when she's got it going on, she is some kind of fast horse. So I'm going to have to bite my lip, put on my horseman's hat, and, and work with Dominic to get this filly right. She's close, fast enough. Just not proper just yet. Um, Kings County raced great. Now, he's long odds this week because he drew the nine hole in the open. Would be nice. Clearly, it's not handicapped. I mean, the horse was, what, 20 to 1 last week, came first over and ended up third, and now he gets the nine hole. So, it's obviously an open draw and an unfortunate one, but nevertheless, we're going to play the hand we're dealt this week in Ohio. Laugh now. I talked about him the other day. Bled a little bit. We're going to probably put him on Lazex first. We're going to school him next week on Lazex and see how he feels. I suspect you're going to see more of the first week laugh now and less of the second week laugh now in the immediate future. Okay, Winchin Wipers, that's enough. LD's Patrick looked a little flat the other day, but he's not as good on the front end. He's going to have plenty of speed to chase this week. Same class, but a much deeper crew. That good golly, Miss Molly's in there. I suspect we're going to follow Molly for quite a while, maybe the whole while on Monday, but we'll see. I'm expecting a rebound trip from LD's Patrick. Levator, or as Mark McKelvey called him, Levator. I don't like Levator. 
Uh, Levator will be in to go Thursday, I suspect. Nomers at 3,000. Can't wait to see this guy race. I, I, I love Levator also. He's got a great disposition, a very, very nice horse, and I can't wait to see him race on Thursday. Locatelli is on his way back, jogging now. And obviously, Harry hasn't trained him yet, but he looks uh, good on the track. My Mini Miracle, her blood was a little wonky the other day. There was some, some uh, points that were high and low on her blood, so we're going to work on her blood for the next week. She didn't get in. Uh, Sunday, as I said to Dominic, we have lots of paths, and quite frankly, they stem from racer to sell her and anywhere in between. And my mini miracle is uh, she may clear waivers at some point in the near future, but for now, we'll probably race her next Sunday. No free lunch uh, was a winner 51 and 3, I think, 25 and 4 in the end of it last week. They changed it. He was listed as 25 and 3, and Bolt Power 25 and 4, and now they're both 25 and 4, I believe. It doesn't really matter. It's just appealing. You noticed that. I just noticed it yesterday. Oh. I did. I noticed it says 25 and 4 now. Last week it said 25 okay. and 3. It was insane that night. It was, but nevertheless, they still did it. Um, uh, Patrick DePrana, everybody knows I did the video and talked about him in the opening. He flipped his heart last week. We know that. We know what that means now. Examining AFib or whatever I made the video about. What it is, what the vet said it could cause it. Should it be something we should worry about in the future? Yes, it's always something you can re worry about. But understanding it's there and it could be an underlying issue and how to mitigate it is very real. It's a pretty good step by step process. We uh, worked on him all week and I trained him at the farm on Thursday and he looked incredible. He'll qualify Monday and then he's heading to the Mark Beckwith stables next week. So just so everybody knows, if you are an owner in Stonebridge Simba or Patrick the Piranha, you will need your New York owner's license and uh, Massachusetts. We'll work on the Massachusetts. It's a little bit of an odd one. We'll work on the Massachusetts licenses next week. But for now, Patrick and Simba will be heading to Mark Beckwith. Uh, Sailor, flat mile last night. James blamed himself, but I think the horse just wasn't great last night. Uh, we're going to draw his blood today. I'll have it back this afternoon to see what we're going to do. We'll see what we're going to do with uh, Sailor. Um, but uh, I guess before we get it back, there's no point in really talking about making changes or doing this or doing that. Uh, the horse was fantastic the start before. Looked flat last night. So let's see what comes up this week. Uh, stay close. Broke his hobbles in his last, but did jump on his foot. His foot's better now. Seems good. He's in to go Monday. Bad post, tough class. We'll see what I can do with that. Uh, I'll try to turn some lemons into lemonade. Uh, Stonebridge Simba, as I just said, is heading to Mark Beckwith Stable. He's leaving immediately on Tuesday morning. Um, walk on the Moon Racing today. Looks like he's in tough. 15 to 1 morning line. I hate, I hate seeing 15 to 1 morning line on the horses. It really annoys me. But sometimes there's not much you can do about it, right, at all. So we'll play the hand we're dealt today and then try and deal ourselves a better hand next week with Walk on the Moon. White Tiger jogging now. Amy's got a back jogging. Looks good. And yes, qualified once the other day. He's going to re-qualify next week. Now, I forgot my father is up Tuesday. I told him to make sure he has his passport handy. We'll maybe slide over to uh, Northfield Park next week, qualify Thursday morning, and then I have to race Thursday night. But I do want to go with yes, and I want to see our boy Frosty. Frosty's trouble. Uh, his first start will be at some point in the next week or so. But I may school him, but I definitely, if, not, if I don't school him, I definitely want to train him. No, I'll school him on Thursday behind the gate at Northfield Park. So those are, I didn't talk about Frosty. It's a good thing I thought about that. Oh, he's a three-year-old. Frosty's trouble uh, is not on these list. So, with that, I'll let you go. We still got lots of lists, lots of horses to talk about. How do I turn the back windshield wiper on? Wait, I think I, I got it. I gotta defog it. Defrog it. Anyway, talk to you all soon. Take care.